Hey everybody and welcome back to the shop and the farm here and uh, if you watch my update video I was talking about this rake and how it kept breaking down on me uh, broke down two days in a row and uh, here's the issue I'm having with it so this bearing flange is just wore out I've tried to tack weld it around the edge to, to uh, Put it back in but it's still uh, it's just too wore out so went down to the local uh, Massey place and they had some bearing flanges I'm hoping will work I hope it works because I've already ordered all eight of them they had two so here's the new one and Kind of see it's got a little bit of a lip on the inside there right there so the lips gone on this one yeah, I believe they're gonna be pretty much the right ones so like I said I went ahead and ordered eight of these here's the part number if anybody's got a Massey Ferguson 25 model 25 hay rake Let's see if I can get that part number in here and I'll read it if I can it's a uh, one no it's five Shoot, I think that's a one could be a zero five I'm gonna say five zero one three nine four m1 I believe that's what that number is made in China but uh, yeah, what else? What ain't made in China? Got to be better than this. This is messed up. Now the other thing I'm having problem with is my wheel. So on this wheel, and as you notice, this wheel, this frame here, you know, it's bent where it's gotten pushed up against this frame against something over the years. But this basically looks just like a bush hog rear wheel on a bush hog on a rotary mower. So I'm hoping that's going to work for my favor. But uh, right down here, around this valve stem, you can see this wheel's rusted slap out. And it's, it's pretty much shot. I was wondering if that thing ain't come all to pieces. So I gotta get some measurements here. I need to know how, so this bolt, this is the biggest difference between uh, this and a, a bush hog is a bolt. Uh, this boat looks like a pretty small boat and Bush Hogs is going to use either a three quarter or inch boat in their wheels. So, see if I can get a measurement. I'm going to take a measurement on this one since it ain't quite as messed up. And as long as we're uh, within four and a half to five inches, I think we can make it work. So, we're a little bit over six, about six and a half inches up here. But of course that can that can move in, you know, as you tighten it up, those can flex a little bit. So that shouldn't be a big deal. I'll get me one for a three-quarter inch three-quarter inch bolt. And uh, I'll take this bolt out. I'm gonna go ahead and take this tire off and uh, look at this bolt. Now this is one of the original tires here. And this tire I replaced with a wheelbarrow tire. And you can see, I mean, it's only a few years old, but it's you just can't handle the, the sitting out there in the heat. And this wheel's messed up too. It's, it's been up, but it ain't rusted out. So, but uh, this one will work for the time being until that tire just cracks too much. And this one's dry rotted too, but heck, the thing's probably. 30, 40 years old. It's probably original, I would imagine. But I'm thinking a solid rubber uh, bush hog wheel with a greasable hub is what this thing really needs. I don't have to worry about it ever going flat and all that. You can tell that this thing's been worked on a little bit. It's been reinforced right here and right here over the years these tines these uh guides they 
and they break free and these I believe are too close together uh, I've seen a lot worse on that parts rake I had they were really messed up I think every one of them had been re-welded uh, some of the tines on here look pretty good and missing some tines but uh, you know that broke these are too close together uh, so I've ordered 25 times to replace a bunch of broke ones I'm going to replace a bunch of bent ones it's too bent like those one of those is too bent this one here is bent way out of whack I also order some of these uh, retaining clips that kind of go around it just helps the bolt hold on to the spring so I guess right now I'm going to go ahead and take this wheel off and just see what the diameter of this bolt is and you know of course we can always make this hole bigger to fit a three quarter inch I'd like to I'd like to straighten these out because I'm afraid they're going to be they're going to hit so this one's this one's not bent but this one's bent pretty bad so I may have to heat it up see if I can't straighten it out I'm not sure I need to either, even straighten that thing out but you can see how close it is and uh, let's see what we can do with it that's going to be part of the repair the other part's going to be taking all these bars off to get this belt off to replace the belt I'm pretty sure this is the original belt I've had a new belt for it for a long time but to get the belt on you got to go over this bar over this wheel uh, because you can't go through here because this is like a one piece deal down here the hub I also once I get all the bars off I'm going to take these off the hubs and repack the bearings in these hubs because I'm pretty sure that's never been done I guess you could try to unbolt this hub and pull this wheel off but this thing has never as far as I know been apart so gonna be interesting it does look like it might have had some paint on it at one time somebody may have tried to touch it up uh, I haven't decided whether or not I'm gonna try to repaint this thing because uh, it needs it needs a lot of cleaning to be able to repaint it and even though I've got a whole bunch of blue paint I could paint this thing blue max tractor right but I'm not sure if I'm gonna go that far you know, other than surface rust it's not in bad shape at all so anyway stay tuned and uh, we'll get back on this part two be the tear down and I might go ahead and pull this wheel off and we'll look at this this uh, bolt I'm wondering if this bolt's built up in the middle or if it's the same size all the way through. That's what I'm really curious about. I've had these wheels off before. I just can't remember. So uh, I'll bring you back for that and we'll end the video. All right, so I've got this bolt, the nut off of it, and I believe it's going to be just a... It's going to have a bushing inside this wheel, but this bolt is uh, pretty small. We'll get the diameter on it. But don't really even matter because we can we can make these as big as we need to but these wheels get all gooped up and I'm pretty sure these wheels just have a bushing in them it's bushing right here it's good every now and then to clean these things off but I'm just going to go ahead and stick it right back in Well, I might have a washer. Those things. Grease. I grease these really good every time I use this thing.
Yeah, we'll stick this. I'll stick this back on, and we'll drop this on the ground, park it, and I'll work on it as I can. I need to get all these. Uh, I'm gonna get all these bars unbolted. It's just three bolts holds this piece on, and that thing will come off with the bar. And I tell you, it's a lot easier to go ahead and mount these on the bar with these bearings. And I've ordered some new bearings too, so that's all going to get replaced. But it's easier to go ahead and mount the flange and the bearing onto the bar before you mount the bar to this hub. Uh, in other words, I wouldn't I wouldn't mount the bearing to the hub and then try to slide the bar over the top of this bearing. It's just too hard to get lined up. So that's what I'm going to be working on. And uh, bring you back part two. Thanks for watching. Please rate, comment, subscribe, and.